What is good everyone, it's Minus Balkin here. I see a lot of people perform the preacher curl in the gym and I mean, it's a decent exercise but there is certainly a way to make it a lot better. So I'm going to be showing you a variation in this video that is going to help you with your bicep growth. It's just a variation of the preacher curl so it's pretty similar but it's definitely going to help your bicep grow in the long run. Okay, so the bicep is composed of two heads. The first head is the long head. That's the head outside of the arm and it's also the peak, if you will. And the second head is the short head. The short head is, you guessed it, the inside of the arm. So, you know, when you stand in the mirror and do a double bicep flex, that's basically the short head. And as you probably don't know, the long head actually is connected to the shoulder joint. So that means when you're taking your arm behind your body, you're stretching the long head and thus activating it and using it and will grow it more. And since on the preacher curl and the variation that I will show, we don't have our arms behind our body, we have it in front, so we're going to focus on the short head in this exercise. You can see the standard preacher curl on screen right now, it's just basically that you are seated and you have your arms against the inclined pad. It might seem like a great exercise, a lot of people do them, but there's a better way to do them. And before I talk about the better way, I'm going to tell you what's wrong about the preacher curls. Because I don't want you to just take my advice, I want you to actually learn and get smarter about this. So every exercise has a strength curve, and all a strength curve do is just to show what part of the range of motion actually produces stress on the muscle. And a good exercise has a consistent strength curve, but that's not the case at all with the preacher curl. In the bottom part of the movement, it's a lot harder than the top part. And that is simply bad for muscle growth since we want an equal distribution of tension. And since you have your arm slightly resting on the pad, you will not get a lot of tension on the top part, thus making the top part easier and the bottom part of the movement way harder. So by doing the dead hang preacher curl, we change the strength curve of the exercise and make it a lot more balanced. And that puts a lot more tension on the muscle because it doesn't relax on the top part of the movement compared to the regular preacher curl. So, to perform the dead hang preacher curl, you just go to the opposite side of the preacher curl station. So I'm going to be completely honest, there's one downside to this exercise. And that is that you look like a frog taking a shit. But who cares man, deal with it. Make sure your shoulders are directly over your arms before starting the movement. So some general tips for this exercise that is going to help you actually use your muscle and don't cheat and all that. The first tip for this exercise is that you gotta control the eccentric, go slow on the way down and control it, use the muscle, you build muscle on the way down as well, so kick the ego out the fucking door. The second tip, emphasize the squeeze on this exercise, because the tension is the biggest on the top part of the movement, so it's important that you emphasize the squeeze and actually squeeze. The third tip, yes it's pretty hard to cheat on this variation but it's possible. You can't cheat by swinging your shoulders backward because of the pad, but you can still use your shoulders to get it up, so just don't do that. Be strict on yourself, have your arms against the pad at all times. And the second tip, yes your arm is going to touch the pad, but don't let them rest on top of the pad. That's exactly the mistake of the normal preacher curl. So I hope this helped you out, now I want to see you make some bicep gains and I'll see you when you have 28 inches arms, like who doesn't have that? Uh, I do. But thank you for listening and the video doesn't actually end now, I have a random taste test review of the new calorie free green monster, so if you want to see that it's just going to last a couple of minutes, keep watching. You see this everybody? This is the new green monster flavor, I haven't tried it or it's, it's actually not new. Uh, or it, it, it's the we first don't have time. It in Norway. Yeah, we so, don't have it in yeah. Norway, so it's like it's new to me. But yeah. I've seen it's been out in America for about almost a year. Yeah. But for me, it's new, so I'm gonna call it new. So I'm gonna be pretty triggered if they don't taste good at all. I like them though. Yeah, I'm gonna try them. Ten out of ten. I've heard a lot of people say that they like them, so <laughs> tastes like sour candy. Confident. So let's try them. Yeah. Oh. That was okay. Nice. Damn. Okay. Pop it. See this, everyone? Hey. Hey. Let's do Can that. Can you do this Brandon Harding spin? Oh, oh, okay. Can you do it? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, hey. okay. Okay, so it's called Ultra Paradise. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. I've heard Jack, he thinks it like tastes like just sour, sour candy, candy, sour apple -ish. Yeah, yeah. And I heard other people say it's like tropical, so I'm pretty excited to see what I think the flavor is. Ah! Oh, shit. Shit. Whoa! <laughs> 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 shit me, I think the flavor is pretty good. It reminds me of uh, mostly like some tropical, but not a like 
pretty intense tropical flavor which most like tropical energy drinks got like uh, Noku and such. Yeah. I think it's good. I'm probably give it. A, I feel like I give every fucking thing an eight out of ten, and <laughs> okay. I hate it. Be different. So it it doesn't have like an intense flavor at all, which is kind of good. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. Oh, Fuck you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know man, it's an 8 out of 10, I think it's good though, it's probably my favorite uh, for now because I've tasted all the other ones like a ton of times, so I'm pretty glad I got this huge thing. Okay, so this has been the video, I hope you learned something, I hope you do the tips on the preacher curl that I just gave you. I'll see you in the next one, peace, and peace from Jack.